Where do you see the fastest growing opportunities in cannabis that maybe aren't necessarily touching the product? This data is all over the place, but there is something called a seed to sale tracking system. Uh, in Colorado, that's a radio frequency identifier tag that's put on uh, literally every plant. The government often puts on a track and trace system along with uh, the industry itself. And actually, no other crop is tracked that way on an individualized special level. And so you're talking about literally millions of pieces of information. The other thing to talk about is branding is another thing that can be universal sooner than yeah. Uh, products can be. There's the recreational side of this industry, which is certainly happening in the United States. There's the medical side of this industry, uh, which you see happening in some states, which are, tend, tend to have a smaller number of uh, you know, uh, cultivators. But then you also have the biomedical side of this industry. And there's a giant opportunity for young scientists of all um, colors and backgrounds to participate uh, in this industry. One success story that we've had was in 2014, there was no such thing as a delivery permit. Uh, but in California, you can get delivery, right? It's patients, you get uh, directly to your home. And over the course of these years, bringing delivery operators to uh, Sacramento, showing them you know, what uh, an operator looks like and what the, we're doing for patients, uh, really opened their eyes to the opportunity here. And it really comes down to that, conversations between like-minded individuals who believe in the end of prohibition in America, who believe that we can make a change on the local and state level, and who are willing to communicate with each other about tangible, concrete things that we can do to move the conversation forward. So this plan, does extraordinary things and we're really just at the beginning of starting to learn about what this plant can do.